our social media is at Ben and Kelly Show. You DM us. Uh, we get lots of questions on DMs, everything from uh, the promotions that we have to just questions like about, uh, you know, needing advice and stuff like that. Yeah. So Jeff reached out and said, I need to know if this is something that works for other couples or if it's just me. All right. Any time that my wife and I have had an argument and I was clearly wrong, I end up buying my way out of it. All right. Like the most recent example is when I screwed up and posted that my wife was hired for what she considered her dream job. Okay. She got mad at me because I posted the news before she could post it. Mm. I stole her thunder. Mm, no, no. I felt bad, so I tried to make up for my mistake by going shopping with her and buying her shopping, shopping bags full of new clothes. She was fine after that. I totally bought an apology. Mm-hmm. Does anybody else do that? And is it a healthy way to solve issues? I'm afraid to mess up anymore, or I might put us in the poorhouse. LOL. Uh, I guess if it works for you. That would work for me. I'll be honest. <laughs> that would work for you. <laughs> a little shopping therapy, a little retail therapy show. Or like, all right, it's fine. I don't know. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't do that, but I maybe should try one time. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I, that's not something that I've, I've done, but... Uh, I feel like he's probably not the only one. Yeah, he's probably not the only one, I'd say. I'd say that, you know, there are people, guys and girls alike, who are like, look. Well, and and, and it's the same thing, you know, it, when you have girlfriends or, or husband or uh, girlfriends or wives that are, um, you know, letting their husband, you know, watch a game, you know, or or letting him go out with the boys or whatever, something like that. You know, it's very similar to sort of that shopping therapy of, all right, you know, we had an argument. Now you can do something you want to do. Okay. I think it, it all has to do with love languages. Maybe. Like what's going to work in your relationship if it sounds like his wife likes gifts. So if that speaks to her and that's kind of like the way that's going to, you know, she's going to respond to that then he's found the secret sauce he's found the formula to help them get through the rough patches there you go so maybe that works you know maybe you know if someone else it's like words of affirmation so maybe write them a heartfelt letter that so so sorry that you know that happened and you know won't do it again whatever and tell them how much you they mean to you stuff like that i think it really has to do with what is going to be most impactful with your partner when but, it comes to getting through the rough stuff. Yeah, if you've figured out, though, that your partner is all about shopping therapy, then... And that'll fix it? Then there you go. I would say I, stick with that. I think you've figured it out. Just, you know, maybe it doesn't have to be bags and bags and bags of new clothes. Right. But it can it can have different uh, values. But I think the sentiment is there every time. Sure. and But like, uh, you know, he did mention, it's like, all right, well, just maybe... Make sure that you don't have too many <laughs> arguments that where you're clearly the loser mm-hmm. and you have to like go spend a bunch of money that you weren't planning on spending. Is there anyone listening who has a like a something that's extravagant that was an apology gift? Ooh, yeah. What is the most expensive apology that you've ever <laughs> purchased, bought? Yeah. Is it like a car? Did did you get a car or a house or something that's thousands of dollars? Wow. In the, hey, I screwed up, here, have this. Also, what would you do? <laughs> Does it have to buy that apology? Right, right. I'd love to hear those stories. So 502-571-9970 if you've got something to contribute. But there you go. That's diving into the DMs. Jeff, I think, you know, you just found her, her love language and uh, just try not to... You know, get into too many more arguments that will cause you to go to the, quote, poor house. Think before you post. There you go. Who um, wrote us and wants to know if this is something that works for other couples or if it's just him gets into an argument with his wife. And if he's wrong, he winds up buying his way out of it, like giving her a gift. So, And it works for him because she's happy after that. So, yeah. But he's like, man, I might be going into the poor house. Is this like a healthy way to solve issues? We were asking, has anybody, or what's the most expensive, I guess, apology gift you've ever had to either give or receive? Aubrey texts us and said, $2,000 purebred Rottweiler. 
Oh, wow. Uh, he had lied about when he was deploying, red flags everywhere, and uh, he got by felicia <laughs> By <laughs> but not before you got your dog. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, Dang. Andrea. Okay, so um, my one-year anniversary uh, came up, and my husband forgot to give me a gift. Mm-hmm. Oh, the first anniversary? I gave him like a two-week grace period to figure it out, and then he <laughs> forgot again. Oh, gosh. <laughs> So I ended up just telling him, you know, just give me your card and I'll buy myself my own present. So I took, <laughs> took his card and bought myself a diamond a diamond band from Shane Company. Oh, wow. There you go. Nice. That's right. <laughs> Trust yourself, girl. <laughs> I heard that and I had to call because it's still a joke to this day. I mean, we've been married for almost four years now and. You know, I always look at my finger and I say, yeah, this is the best present I ever bought myself. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Bless you know, his heart, the first one. Yeah, of but, all the ones you don't forget, it's the first one. But to be it fair to first, him. And the fact that I gave him a two-week grace period to make oh, it up. Oh, my God. Again. All right. Well, I mean, I was going to say, to, to to be fair to him, he's never had to celebrate a wedding anniversary before now. So, Benji. Benji, it's the first one. I okay, I understand. All right. <laughs> Andrea, thank you for the story. That's great. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, see ya. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> wow. wow. But you know what? She could have set her up like a, a nice formula for herself too. It's like, you know what, it's our anniversary. Just give me the just card. Just give me the card. I'll get uh-huh. myself something nice. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs>